Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how you can automatically create contact in active campaign for your every new Razorpay payment. Here Razorpay and active campaign are two way different applications and there is no direct connection between Razorpay and active campaign. That's why we are going to integrate both of these applications with the help of an integration software that is Pably Connect. So that whenever a new payment is captured in Razorpay, Pably Connect will automatically create contact in Active Campaign at the same time. And you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge, and any non technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with an example and learn the whole process. Okay, so this is my payment page of Razorpay for this webinar COVID-19 third wave and this is my contact list in active campaign. So here whenever I'll make a payment here in the active campaign, Pably Connect will automatically create contact. Okay, so here in this particular section, I'm going to pay the payment. Okay, so here suppose. Any and last name suppose Malhotra okay and email ID Malhotra any 930 at the rate gmail.com okay now here phone number any random phone number okay now pay rupees 150 okay so this is in test mode okay so here card details skip cards and here the card number so card number i've added this card number this is test card number and any future date as expiry okay so card holder name suppose any m and cvv okay now pay of piece 150 skip saving cards and this is loading okay so this is demo bank page okay so i'm going to make it as success payment Okay, successful payment. So here success. Okay, so the payment is successful. Now let's have a check on this active campaign contact list. So here I'm going to refresh this list. Okay, so here it is any Malhotra and this is the mail ID. This is the phone number. So we have successfully created contact in active campaign whenever a new payment is captured in Razorpay. Okay, so here how we did it. So to learn the process, let's type pably.com in the new tabs browser. So this is new tabs browser. Type p-a-p-b-l-y dot com. Press enter. Okay, so this is the site of Pably. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. Okay, so this is a landing page of Pably Connect. Here you have to click on sign in. As I've already created my account, that's why I'm directly signing in. You can also sign up for free with the help of this sign up free button over here and just in two minutes. Okay, so sign in. Okay, so this is my account and here I'm going to click on connect access now. Okay, that's how you will reach to the dashboard of Pably Connect. And here you have to create the workflow with the help of this create workflow button over here. So just click on it. And here you have to name your workflow. So your workflow name could be anything according to yourself. So I'm naming it as Razorpay to Active Campaign. Okay, now click on create. And this is the name of your workflow here. I would like to mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can directly clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay. So whenever you click on create, these two windows will appear. This is known as trigger window and this is known as action window. You might be thinking what is this trigger action or trigger action window. So let me tell you whenever we talk about automation in Pably connect, it works on the concept of triggers and action. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Suppose in this use case, whenever a new payment is captured in Razorpay will be a trigger and create contact in active campaign automatically would be action of this whole process. So here we are going to make a connection between Razorpay and active campaign with the help of Pably Connect. So here first we are connecting Razorpay with Pably Connect and then Pably Connect with Razorpay. Okay, so here in the trigger application, we are going to choose our trigger as Razorpay. 
Okay, so here type razor pay and here is razor pay. Okay, now here the trigger event, trigger event are available and you have to choose according to yourself or according to your requirement. So my requirement is whenever a new payment is captured. That's why I'm selecting this. Okay, so whenever you will choose this app and trigger event, this webhook URL will arrive. Now this webhook URL will arrive and you have to connect our Razor Pay with Pabli Connect. And for that, you have to follow these steps. Okay, so here I'm going to follow these steps and I'm going back to this Razor Pay dashboard over here. And here what we are going to do, we are going to click on settings here. This one. And here we are going to click on webhooks. And here we are going to create a, a webhook, new webhook. Okay, add new webhook. Web so here I'm going to create a new one. So here this button, add new webhook here. And here webhook URL. So which webhook URL? Let me just show you this one. This is the webhook URL. You have to just copy it and you have to paste it there. And this is waiting for webhook response here. Okay, so here I'm going to copy and paste it here okay now here not very interested in secret and not alert email okay and here i'm going to add the active event as payment captured so have a tick on it and yeah now create webhook so create webhook and we have successfully created webhook here now here in the public connect it is waiting for webhook response just click on it okay now here in the reserve pay dashboard i'm going to show you my payment pages Okay, so here all are my payment pages. Now I'm going to make a payment on this webinar COVID-19 third wave. Okay, so just click on it. And here I'm going to show you this is the page URL. So copying it and here I'm going to paste it. Okay, so this is the payment page. Okay, so here I'm going to make a payment and the payment name is suppose Shreya and gen email okay and the phone number any random one okay now pay rupees 150 okay and it is a test mode okay so i'm using a test card to pay the amount okay so here card number Okay, so I'm adding any test card number here. Okay, and any future date as expiry and card holder name, suppose Shreya and J. Okay, and here CVV, any random one. Okay, now not to remember the card and pay rupees 150. Okay, so it is a demo bank pay. So I'm going to make the payment as a successful payment. Okay, now payment successful. Now let's have a check on this public connect window and here it is waiting for webhook response. And here we have got the details of recently done payment. Okay, so here it is captured this one and here all the details that is the name on the card and here the name of the customer or that user. Okay. So yeah, this is the mail ID. This is the phone number. So everything is visible. Now we have to send these details to our next, next application that is active campaign. Okay. So here in the active campaign, we are going to receive these details with the help of Pabli Connect. Okay. So here in the next application, we are going to choose our application as active campaign here. Okay. So here, this is active campaign. And here in the action event, I'm going to choose it as create or update con sorry create a contact okay so here create a contact is the action event again many more are available you can use according to your requirement so i'm going to use this one create a contact okay and here i'm going to click on connect okay now here add new connection and this api key so where are you getting this api key from so what you have to do you have to follow these instructions okay and or you can simply click on this setting section so i'm going back to this active campaign here okay and here in this particular context sec setting section this one and here in this developer section 
and here is the url and here is the key okay so url is you have to keep up to it only like you don't have to copy this whole https or this slash you just have to copy this particular id okay or url so here in the public connect window i'm going to paste the url paste it okay now here you have to follow this instruction okay you don't have to put that particular protocol okay so here api key i'm going to paste the api key this is the api key let me just show you this is the api key okay so i'm just copying it and i'm going to paste it here in the public connect tab in the api key section okay now save your data or save your credentials okay so here i'm going to click on save and we have successfully connected our active campaign with public connect now what we are going to do we are going to fill these fields that are by default in active campaign okay so we have to fill the email we have to fill the first name last name and phone number now i have just told you that we are sending these details to our this action application okay so here we have to enter the details and for that we are requiring the details so here suppose the email so email id this is the email id okay so here in this particular section just click on it and here in the drop down all the details will be visible okay that's how we are going to do mapping okay so here you can simply search for the email so this is the email okay so here you can enter the email now the first name so let me just show you the first name okay so this is the first name this is the first name and here in the drop down it will be visible let me just show you okay so this is the first name that's how we are going to do mapping in all the remaining fields okay so the last name let me just type last name okay so this is jen okay and here the phone so the phone number is basically again we can map it okay so that's how we have filled the details from the above window that means this our trigger application to our action application now i'm going to click on save and sentence request and we'll see whether it has created the contact in active campaign or not okay so this is save and sentence request okay so we have received the response that means we have successfully created a contact in active campaign as soon as the new razor pay payment is captured okay so here in this list i'm going to go back on contacts okay and here yeah this is Shreya Jen that we have just created in active campaign okay so yeah we have successfully connected razor pay with active campaign with the help of public connect now going back to public connect and summarizing what we have done basically okay so here in this active campaign and this is razor pay okay so here what we have done basically we have connected these two applications with the help of public connect first we have received the data from razor pay to public connect and then we have sent the data from public connect to active campaign and we have connected both of them and not just these two software you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with public connect link of public connect and this workflow is given in the description for any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com admin at the rate p-a-b-b-l-y dot com and if you really found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching